Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Hulk Flex. Just want to give y'all some uh, tips and tricks on uh, how to do better in either hardcore or core. Um, give you the rigs that I use, guns that I use, attachments, perks, um, score streaks, stuff like that. All right, so uh, let's get into it, guys. So rigs, I like... Obviously, everybody likes the Merc with the reactive armor and the man at arms. I mean, you know, that's that's a go-to. Um, I normally prefer this rig in core. I don't really care for it too much in hardcore, only because the reactive armor sometimes, it just seems like it works better than other times. I don't know. It's just too inconsistent for me. Um, I do use this in core. It is a lot better in core. As for hardcore, I prefer the Phantom with the Pulsar. The rear guard, I mean, you can kind of just pick whichever one of these you want. I uh, mainly, you know, go with the rear guard. It's it's helped me out, you know, quite a bit in a few situations. But the pulsar, this is the main thing. So, basically, if you're in a bind and you don't know where people are spawning and you feel kind of trapped, uh, this is when it comes in handy. Uh, you hit it, you can kind of see where everybody's at, what parts of the map. Um, now there are times where like when an enemy spawn, it won't catch them. So just be wary about that. But you know, most of the time it works out for the better. Uh, I've gotten used to this. Like I said, this is basically my hardcore rig that I use. As for guns, and before fallout, everybody uses it. It's a great gun. Um, I rock ELO sight, quick draw. FMJ and extended mags. Uh, my ELO sight, I swap between the Lambda and the Triforce. I've been using the Triforce quite a bit. I enjoy it. Uh, my shots just seem more precise. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's just, I mean, it's personal preference. So, I mean, I've seen people use crazy sights. I mean, but me personally, I like the Lambda and the Triforce. Those are my top two. Um, I use FMJ in hardcore only because my shots seem more crisp at long range. If I have a suppressor on, it just seems like I get too many hit markers. Not a big fan. Uh, I kept trying to, you know, go back to it. Maybe see, you know, if it's just me. But it's, I don't know. I just get too many hit markers. Um, so that's why I go with FMJ. Perks, I go with Ghost, Blind Eye, Hardline. Um, I normally run these three perks all the time. Uh, I know a lot of people like Dexterity, like the fast reload. That's cool. That's good, too. I like blind eye because I don't like fucking having to worry about vultures, wardens, because vultures will chase you for five miles across the map. It doesn't, I mean, they're, they're fucking ridiculous. Um, RCH, you don't have to worry about those. Wardens, shock sentries, little micro turrets, none of that shit. You can just keep running and gunning, you know, do you. Um, I like the R3K Wasteland. This is pretty much a setup that I use for core and hardcore. Um, I just, I don't know, like, I enjoy the gun, it's strong, if you have it, if you haven't tried it, if you're kind of curious about it, um, go for it again, I use the Triforce or the Lambda ELO sight, um, Igloo Buster, everybody got this, this is a great gun, uh, uh, the, the sight for it, I like the Snowflake sight, I've gotten used to it, but... I don't know. It, to me, it takes a little bit used to. I prefer the MV4 over the K-Bar. That's my personal preference. I know everybody has, you know, their favorite guns, what guns they like using. Um, you know, if I don't show any of the guns that you guys are kind of curious about, let me know, and I'll throw up some gameplay and uh, class it up for it. The Mauler, I see a lot of people saying that they don't like the Mauler or, you know, they're not very good with it. I don't rock ELO sight on LMGs. I don't know what it is about it, but ELO sights seem to work better for me on assault rifles. Better than LMGs, I like the red dot. Um, again, personal preference. Go with what you like. Uh, I normally run the rifle barrel on the Mauler with the quick draw and foregrip. Same perk setup. Now the Titan, with this gun specifically, I like it with the suppressor. Um, when I run a suppressor on the Mauler, again, I have a problem with hit markers. That's why I want a rifle barrel. I don't get as many hit markers. Titan with the suppressor. I don't know why, but this shit kicks ass. You know, I mean, enough said. I mean, it, it's a great gun. It, it's awesome. Try it out if you have it. If you haven't, um, 
you know, just let me know how it goes. R3K, obviously, you know, the Epic variant, it wrecks. Like, it, I mean, it does. I like it with the ELO site, Particle Amp, pretty much the same setup as my Wasteland. The exact same setup, pretty much. Um, score streak wise, I normally want UAV and Warden all the time. Uh, advanced UAV, super helpful. I kind of swap between this, RC8, or Thor, you know, kind of just depending on what I'm feeling. Uh, you know, that's, I don't know. Like, score streaks, have fun with it. You know, UAV and Warden, though, UAV definitely helps you uh, just kind of chill back. It'll help you get your Warden a lot easier. Um, you know, Advanced UAV, since I buffed it, it's the shit. Everybody uses them when they're going for nukes. Streaking up, juggernaut medals, whatever. I mean, you see videos about people using this all the time. Uh, I, like I said, I swap just depending on how I'm feeling, you know, and what I'm wanting to do. Uh, I don't really fuck around with SMGs a whole lot. I personally am an AR LMG guy, but I do have good gameplays with SMGs. If you guys want to see, if you guys want to see class setups, how I normally use it, just let me know um, in the comments below. Uh, let's see. As for settings. I run stick and move. Um, sensitivity wise, I always run horizontal one less sensitivity than the vertical. Because in hardcore, I wall run a lot. That's key. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people will, you know, will sit there and, you know, wonder why they're just getting slapped over and over again. And it's because when you, you know, you want to wall run majority of the time whenever you're playing hardcore. You always want to move. I know people are going to camp. That's fine. Play however you want to play. Um, I don't know. I just, I get, I don't know. Whenever you camp and stuff, you start getting nervous, when, especially when you're trying to streak and whatnot. My biggest tip, always run UAV and always rotate around the map. Know where your teammates are at. Um, you know, a lot of times people are sitting there and they're like, you know, they don't know where people are going or where people are spawning at. Enemies, majority of the time, will spawn where there are less of your teammates around there or it's like a neutral area. It's like a safe zone. Um, that's one thing that I normally do when I rotate around is trying to read spawns is doing that right there. Knowing where my teammates are at, where the empty areas of the map are, just practice with that and you'll kind of get a better feel for it. Different maps, obviously, you know, they're going to have different spawn areas, but, you know, just take some practice and you know you'll you'll get the hang of it uh obviously i run you know target assist on i disable my colorblind filter disable my motion blur um you know i run the default stick layout um but like i said stick and move it's tough to get used to but if you aren't using it and you're kind of curious try it give it a couple of days you know whenever you play just try to get used to it I know everybody's all about drop shotting and sliding and stuff, which is totally fine, but I feel like it's better for me being able to, you know, jump and aim with the right stick. It's definitely helped me out in a bunch of situations, being able to jump shot easier. Uh, I personally don't have a scuff controller, um, which is why I use this. If I had a scuff, it might be a little bit different. I'm not 100% sure, though. Like I said, I've never owned a scuff, don't have one. Um, I hope to soon eventually get one just to try it out. Um, but sensitivity, it's going to be based on personal preference. I started off and I was running a 3 over a 4, play on it a few days, then go up to a 4 over a 5, play on it for a few days, and then, you know, eventually I went up to, you know, 6 and a 7. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, if you see when, if you want to see any gameplays or if you want to see any type of, you know, uh, if you want to see juggernaut medals, nukes, whatever, um, let me know in the comments below. This is a new channel. I am a new streamer. I just feel like, you know, I've seen other videos and other tips and stuff that people are giving out. And I kind of do things just a little bit differently, which is why I wanted to kind of, you know, give my advice on how to help you guys improve your gameplays. But, uh, yeah, just try them out, you know. Um, like I said, if you want to see any guns or anything, let me know. And, uh, yeah, you guys take it easy.